Hello, America. I've had this Ruger Super Single 6 for 58 years. That's why when Ruger came out with the new Super Wrangler, I was interested. You know, a few years ago, Ruger introduced the basic Wrangler, and if you don't know about that, then you need to climb out from underneath whatever rock you're living under. I'll tell you what, it lit up the shooting community. For $199, I've seen it for sale for $175, you could get a four inch fixed sight, you know, 22 Ruger-ish revolver that worked and everything was really cool about it. One of the things though people were really sad by was the fact that it, you couldn't get a 22 Magnum cylinder for it. And the reason for that is actually pretty simple. Uh, it's an aluminum alloy frame on a standard Wrangler, and it just couldn't take the beating that a 22 Magnum uh, offered. Things stretched and got out of spec. So now, what Ruger did with the new Super Wrangler is you've got a uh, alloy steel frame, and they've changed the length of the cylinders so they're too long and they won't fit in one of the old model Wranglers or the old model Super Single Sixes and Single Sixes. So don't get any ideas. Okay, at about 329 MSRP, pretty affordable gun, five and a half inch barrel, weighs 37 ounces. It's got a little heft to it, which actually makes it hang in your hand a little better. Two cylinders, 22 long rifle, 22 Magnum. The Magnum cylinder is marked 22 Magnum, so you can't be an idiot. Six shots, three colors, black, silver, and kind of a bronze, they're all Cerakote, 5.5 inch barrel. And this is the huge thing, is adjustable sights. You know, I have a little bit of a side gig going where I've been customizing Wranglers, and one of the first things people ask me to do is zero them, uh, because the, the fixed sights are often kind of off. Uh, well, this kind of solves all those problems. You know, here's an early Wrangler that I customized. Uh, it's a, my personal gun, and you can really feel the difference in the weight. The steel frame uh, definitely adds, you know, a, a little bit of heft to it, which, like I said, I really like. Having said that, I also really like the lightweight and sort of handy shootability of the original Wrangler. So uh, we'll see how this new one goes when we shoot it. Okay, we're at about 25 yards, six shots in the Super Wrangler. It's kind of roughly sighted in. This is about the fourth cylinder I've had through this gun. I really haven't shot it very much. Uh, so far, I really like it. And we've got one of our fancy new guns, magazine targets from Axle Targets. So what the heck, you know? All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, I make the gun safe and let's check it out because I can't see any bullet holes from here. Okay, well, it's not too bad for just goofing off. Uh, I kind of pulled that one there, one, two, three, four, five, six, so they're all here. You know, call it two, three inches at 25 yards, offhand, just kind of goofing off. Uh, I'll put this gun on a bench and I imagine uh, especially once the trigger pull smooths up a little bit, this could easily be a two inch or better gun. Uh, and frankly, I'm gonna keep this gun. So I'm gonna recut the muzzle chamfer, recut the forcing cone, uh, do an action on it. And it's been my experience with the standard Wranglers that that gets them down into the kind of one and a half inch, one and a quarter inch range at 25 yards. Let's wrap this up. Somebody asked me not too long ago, well, how many 22s would you consider to be too many for one person to own? <laughs> well, that, and that's a silly question because I have no idea what that number is because I certainly haven't reached it yet. And every time I see a new 22 come out like this, I find myself reaching for my wallet again. So, and maybe that's something you should do too. You know, this is like a clicky, clicky, bang, bang thing, which is retro and it's fun. And it sort of, you know, speaks of the Old West and the and Hopalong Cassidy. Uh, but it also, with the adjustable sights, is accurate enough to act as a small game gun. As a matter of fact, I will be chasing some gray squirrels with this soon. All right, you guys. Hey, thanks for tuning in. And uh, Ruger's Super Wrangler. See you next time.